Hi everybody, welcome back to Educating Adventures. My name is Sarah and today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I know we usually talk about animals here, but today we are going to talk about something a little bit greener, a little bit leafier. We're going to be talking about plants. More specifically, we are talking about the life cycle of a plant, so let's get to it. All right, you guys, before we get started, we have two very important things to discuss. If we're gonna be talking about the life cycle of a plant, we probably should know what a life cycle is and what a plant is. Plants are a group of organisms that usually grow on land and they have this amazing ability to take energy from the sun and turn it into energy for themselves in a process that we call photosynthesis. A life cycle, on the other hand, is something that every organism goes through. These are the stages that an organism goes through between birth and death. And both plants and animals have life cycles, but today we're gonna be focusing on plants. Most plants start their life as a seed. And we're gonna talk about where that seed comes from in just a little bit, but these seeds end up in the environment, in the soil, and if the conditions are just right, if there's the right amount of sunlight and water and it's the perfect temperature, the seed will do something we call germination. And germination is the very beginning of the life cycle of a plant. It's when the seed breaks open and little roots start to form. And once those roots get in the soil, they can start absorbing nutrients and water and this encourages the plant to grow even more. Once the seed has germinated, it will also produce a stem. And instead of growing down like the roots, the stem grows up towards the sun. And when it breaks through the soil and we have this tiny little baby plant, we call it a seedling or a sprout. And eventually that seedling grows and grows and develops leaves. And leaves are very important to a plant because that is where that magical process photosynthesis takes place. Leaves absorb sunlight and then they take water and carbon dioxide from the air and they have this amazing process where they change all of that into oxygen that we breathe and nutrients and energy for the plant. It basically creates food for the plant and that is what allows the plant to continue to grow and get bigger and stronger. As time passes and the plant has energy from the sun and nutrients and water from the soil and if the conditions are just right, the plant will grow and grow and grow until it is a mature plant. That's kind of like saying it's an adult plant. And once a plant is mature, they can produce flowers. And that is also super important because that's what allows plants to reproduce. Inside all of those flowers, is pollen and pollen has to be transferred between a bunch of different flowers in order for the plant to successfully reproduce. That when pollen is transferred between flowers we call it pollination and if you want to learn more about pollination be sure to check out our pollination adventure. Now once pollination occurs something really special happens. Plants start to grow fruits and fruits can be anything from an apple to a green bean or anything that houses seeds. And the fruit has one main job and that is to store and protect the seeds until they're developed and ready to be spread around the environment. And seeds can be spread by wind or water or even animals who bump against them or eat them and poop them out later. And it's really important that seeds get spread out so those new plants can grow. When one of those new seeds ends up in the soil, if the conditions are just right with the water and the temperature, that seed can germinate and the whole process starts over again. That's why we call it a cycle because it goes around and around and it never really seems to end. However, the plant that produced the seeds, our mature adult plant, eventually will reach the end of its life, right? And eventually when that plant dies, it will end up back in the environment and decomposers can do their jobs to break the plant down and turn it into nutrients so that other plants can absorb those nutrients through their roots 
and grow big and strong to create flowers and fruits. And this is how the whole plant life cycle continues on and on and on. Plant life cycles can look really different from one another. Some plants live just one season. Other plants can live for thousands of years. So depending on what plant we're talking about, it might look a little bit different, but this is the basic plant life cycle that we see throughout the environment. All right, you guys, I know that was a lot to take in about plants and their life cycles. I hope you guys learned a lot. And next time you're out in your environment, Take a look around, try to figure out where plants are in their life cycle. If you guys wanna have activities and quizzes and games and projects to go along with plant life cycles, be sure to check out our Educating Adventures website and we'll see you guys next time.